What should you feed your cockatiel? I know, not a cockatiel. <coughs> Noisy pionis. Pionises are supposed to be quiet. I think I got the exception. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I have 22 species of parrots and if you already know me, you already subscribed. You already set your preferences so that YouTube lets you know when we post another video, usually tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. I love you guys. I love reading what you say. I love reading about your parrots. I love seeing pictures of your parrots. Join me on my group, Parrot Bliss Flock, on Facebook. I love hearing from you. Now, let's get to the video. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon so that you have your handbook to providing a quality life for your parrot so you can then have quantities of bliss. In today's video, you can see that I am joined by not my cockatiels. This is Ale, short for Alebrique, my white-capped pionis. He is only a baby. Oh, hi, sweetie. He's four or five months old. Now, I want you to know that he's telling me he's hungry, but do you see this roundness here? He's been fed. <laughs> Sometimes babies, all they know to do is say, feed me, feed me. I'm also joined by one of my parrot lets, Blueberry. So what is the deal with cockatiels? We're going to talk about, oh, and Mr. Harris might be flying in. We're going to talk about some of the confusion I think that's happened in the past with cockatiels. We're going to talk about um, what people used to feed them. And then we're gonna talk about what they should be fed. So number one, some of the confusion with cockatiels is people used to only give them a seed-based diet. And they, uh, even today they market a cockatiel seed mix and the cockatiel seed mix has sunflower seeds. The problem with that is twofold. Number one, sunflower seeds don't actually grow anywhere, as I understand it, where parrots exist. And number two, sunflower seeds are very high in fat. I love when my parrot rats are flying around. Um, and number three, I've got a bonus for you. One of the things that happens is on a seed-based diet, you don't have the variety that nature would normally offer. She's too loud. I need you to quiet down. And so one of the things that happens is uh, in nature, any parrot is gonna eat a variety of foods, not just have seeds, and seeds inhibit the absorption of calcium. So then your cockatiel is gonna have some funky stuff going on with hair and nails, that kind of thing. And they use calcium for their feathers, they use quite a bit, plus their beak and their nails. So it's really important to understand that actually cockatiels need more than just seeds. And I think some of that confusion might come from our second point today, which is cockatiels are actually, they're Australian, as you probably know. They're actually, <sighs> number one, one of uh, the like top three most popular parrots that are sold <laughs> the world over. Now I'm like having to move everything so Ale doesn't eat anything. Uh, and actually, Ali pointed to Tinks must have parrot relief. This is <laughs> CBD in hemp oil. You can get it at parrotbliss.com. And the thing about it is, if your parrot is not calm, if your parrot's freaking out, these guys are calm. <laughs> this guy's just being a baby. I'm going to try to put him back on the perch. Here. I want to do in my video, but. Let's see if you calm down because your crop's full, your tummy's full. Um, so the oil, if your parrot is like having separation anxiety, the way maybe cockatoos sometimes can, or if you just want to help build a nice strong immune system, for example, for your cockatiel, the thing about Tink's um, parrot relief is that it's CBD in hemp oil and hemp oil has the right balance of omegas. So what's interesting is that any parrot really needs fat. So do you. There's something called rabbit fever, which is when you are on a deserted island. I know this happened to you last week, right? Like this is so common. And there's nothing to eat except for rabbits, 
You can actually eat the rabbits, but you would starve because you wouldn't get enough fat. So we really all need some fat in our diet. And here in the States, I feel like the, um, we had been taught for many years like that we should have a fat-free diet, and it's actually not correct. We need fat in our diet. Our parents need fat in our diet, in their diet, but it actually needs to be, number one, the correct amount of fat, and number two, the correct kind of fat. The kind of fat's really important. So for example, if your cockatiel just is being given um, those cockatiel seed mixes, they're getting like not really the correct fat and it's not in balance. So when I had to take my Amazon to the vet because she was having problems and it looked like she didn't technically have fatty liver disease because you have to like have a liver biopsy, but basically she was on the road there. Um, you know, one of the things that was given to us is fat in the right balances because your liver can handle the right fat in the right balances, which is the omegas in the right balances, but when it's out of balance, which a lot of us, our diet, you know, the omegas are out of balance. That's when it's a problem. So your cockatiel in the wild and in Australia will actually be a um, grass grazer. And there's a really, there's like a technical word for that, but I don't know what it is. In other words, there are parrots that are arboreal and they live in the trees and they won't really come down like they eat in the trees. They eat nuts, fruits, whatever vegetation they find or that they're used to eating. And I'm watching Mr. Harris. Come here. I want to see if he comes. Oh, he flew in the other direction. There are other um, parrots like my African greys or the cockatiels that'll come down. It doesn't mean that they're not going to be in the trees, but they come down and they like to forage on the ground. So I think that a part of the confusion with cockatiels is they are gonna come down and forage on the ground, which means, where are you going, Mr. Blueberry? Where are you going? Which means that they are going to, um, you know, be looking for seeds, but the seeds they're gonna find are number one, grass seeds. And sunflower seeds are flower seeds. They're not grasses. And number two, sometimes <laughs> I'm trying to get my hair decoration out of my hair. Come here, sweetie. <sighs> there you go. Come back on my shoulder. And number two, um, you know, when seeds are on the ground, they might be there for a little while, but one of the things that happens, of course, is they start to sprout and grow. So those birds are gonna be eating like sprouting seeds or maybe like grasses. And sometimes they're gonna catch the seeds but they're not gonna have just seeds. So what should you be feeding your cockatiel to keep your cockatiel blissfully healthy and happy? Your cockatiel should have some fresh vegetables every day. And within those fresh vegetables, if you wanted to do sprouts, that would of course be perfect for your cockatiel. Your cockatiel should have some grass seeds, not some flower seeds. And so I would look at a parakeet mix, like the millet, you know, something with millet in it, things with grass seeds in them. Yeah. Bye, Blueberry. So that, now I don't have a bird. Um, here, come back. But don't be so loud, otherwise people say they can't hear me. And your cockatiel should have pellets, a pelleted diet. I feed my cockatiels, of course, Psittacus, because I really like the fact that Psittacus is um, species specific, which means that my macaws that need way more nut fat, not grass seed fat, not, you know, they have a different pellet, a different diet than my cockatiels. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. If you have any more questions about your cockatiels, please let me know. I love parrots. I love talking about parrots. It was fun. Thank you for joining me.